Hello everyone and welcome back to La Cocina of Two Nations. Today we're going to talk about a main ingredient even in Mexico, US, South America. I know you have been knowing this ingredient for much a long time. We're talking about one of the main sides of the dishes in Mexico and we eat it every day uh, in a tortilla with a little bit of salt, even with a piece of bacon, salsa. It's really good. We want to talk about frijoles, pinto beans. Pinto beans are called right here because we have it frijol pintado because it has little spots on the bean and it's the main use bean also in the US. Here in Mexico, we can find it like sides, burritos, even in the chili con carne that we know in the US is in the main part of the Southwest of the America one of the most used beans also in the American kitchen, like Mexican kitchen. So we're talking about now from the black beans right here. We call it also caviar criollo, frijol negro, churro bean, and it's one of the most used beans in the south of Mexico, now in the south part of USA. And it's mixed with the main dish like rice and beans. You can find it, these beans, are back at least 7,000 years ago. And we can find it in the part of Mexico. And also we can find it in Cuba, in the South America, India, Brazil. Next one we're gonna talk about is ayocote bean. This one is come from the Nahuatl ayocotl. That is, is the most largest bean in Mexico. We use it mainly in the central part of Mexico, even in Xochimilco and it's one of the most domesticated beans in Mexico. We also know that it comes from the year from 4,000 on 2,000 before Christ. The next one is going to be peruano bean. It's going to be called peruano bean because it comes from the Peru. Also, we call it moyocoba. It's one of the light color bean. We use it and cultivate it 2,000 years before Christ. And it's very popular in Mexico. We use it on sides, only with a tortilla, tacos, and also in the U.S. is getting popularity because it's a soft flavor bean and it's really good mixing with many, many ingredients. The next one we're gonna talk about is going to be the bayo bean. This one is one of the most used bean in Mexico, especially in the central part of Mexico, in Mexico City, and the south states that come from Mexico. In our states, it's used for substitute other beans. Next one is the tepati bean. These beans are from the southwestern United States and northwestern of Mexico. It was domesticated in the pre-Hispanic times of Oasis American regions. And it also known as Pawi, Pali, Yomi, and it's called, that means it's a bean, es un frijol. And the main distribution in Mexico is in Sonora, Chihuahua, Sinaloa, Jalisco, Michoacán. The next one is the frijol azufrado, azufrado bean. This one in the year of 1994, they took many different beans to the US and they only pick this yellow bean from all the beans that come from Mexico to the US and they found that they made a new hybrid bean that is called azufrado. They also call it frijol amarillo, and it has a little softly flavor, and it uses it for salads, for sides, even stuffed pork, and they use it now in many dishes. So as you can see, we can have a lot of beans. We're talking about a little piece of all the beans that we have in the world, but these ones are the most used beans in the cuisine America, in Mexico, in Mexico cuisine. I hope you like this information and stuff. And I think we can make something with these beans. We're gonna try to make frijoles charros using pinto beans. And I'm gonna call my helper so we can start making a dish for you. Okay, thank you for watching. And let's start to make one dish with beans. We're coming back and we're ready to prepare the frijoles charros. I have my helper here. Cesar, and he's gonna help me cut in all the ingredients that we have over here. Remember all the recipes, the 
all the all the ingredients, process. You can find it on our worksheets in the website that we have. It's all in there and all in there, and we're gonna be preparing many different recipes for you. So we're gonna start preparing the frijole charros. Now, Cesar, can you help me cook in the bacon? Frijole charros o a la charra is a traditional Mexican dish prepared with beans, onion, chile, bacon, sausage, or chorizo, tomatoes, ham, and cilantro. It has the consistency of a soup. It's very popular among the people of Northern Mexico. The recipe originates back in the pre-Columbian times, and it was developed in the vice royalty by the cowboys of the North known as charros. That's where the name comes from. In Mexico City are served in taquerias. Each region or state has its own style of recipes like Coahuila that use bay beans, Nuevo Leon put pork skin and coriander, and Tamaulipas they use a similar way as Nuevo Leon, but the dish is named as frijoles a la charra. Now we have everything ready to start cooking of frijoles charros, so let's go and prepare these frijoles charros. Let's go. Now we have our pot on the fire. We're gonna start adding the bacon. So the grease of the bacon start melting into the pot. Start mixing right here. And we're gonna let the grease start melting into the pot to add the chorizo, then the veggies, and then we have the beans, and we have all the spices. At the end, we want to add the chicharron. We have a little bit of chicharron pork skin. We're gonna cover and start cooking for 10 to 15 minutes. Ya estamos listos para servir. Se nos sufrió los charros. Now we have the frijole charros. This recipe, Cesar, my grandmother used to make frijole charros for us. Y lo hacía en grandes cantidades cuando era algún evento especial. Eh, sabemos que los frijoles charros son de la parte del norte de México, se hacían en rancherías, principalmente lo que son los ranchos. Y combinaba lo que tenía en casa, nada más. Por eso son ingredientes muy sencillos, como chile, tomate, cebolla. Eh, tenemos el tocino, pero a veces usaba jamón. A veces solo chorizo, a veces salchichas, a veces combinaba pues, todo lo que tenía en el refri. ¿no? Lo guisaba y lo acompañamos con tortilla de harina o pan o tortilla de maíz. Y al último agregamos un poquito de, de cilantro para darle más frescura y más sabor. Porque normalmente estos frijoles hacían sobre las brasas. Entonces se ponía este, leña, carbón y ahí ponía la olla y a cocinarlos. ¿sí? Entonces... Ojalá les guste y pues vamos a, a probar. ¿Sales? Me vuelve un poquito de todo para que agarres. Listo. Que están calientes, ¿eh? ¿Qué tal? Buenos, me pero buenos. <risa> Remember, all the recipes, worksheets are on our website. You can enter to our website and see all the recipes with all the ingredients, the process. And thank you for watching us. And remember to subscribe. They don't like. And see you in our next video of La Cocina of Two Nations.